Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw an ice wing from the book Wings of Fire. Now, to start off with this, we're going to keep it close to the edge of our paper because we have a lot to fill in with this dragon. So, I'm going to start right over here and I'm just going to begin by drawing a little circle for the eye. Then, starting over here, I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves up, and then it's going to go back like this. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down. It's going to go out a little bit, and then it's going to come down to a point. Then I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves back, and then it's going to go up, and then back a little bit more. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down. And then I'm going to curve it back and then bring it up like this. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes back and then kind of curves here. Now right here, I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves down. And then I'm going to add a little line in there just for the nose. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve, and it's going to go back into like a long horn, and then it's going to curve back to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, just go back and then come back here. Then I'm going to add a little curve line on each one. Then I'm going to draw a line here that goes towards the eye. It's going to kind of curve up and then go down and curve back. Then I'm going to add a little pupil inside the eye. Then I'm going to put a little line right down here. And then inside the mouth, I'm going to put a few little teeth on the top and the bottom. Now right here they have a little ear, so you want to draw a line that goes out and then it's going to kind of curve down and come back. And put a little line right down the center. Now they have some really long spikes back here. So I'm just going to add some really kind of long pointy spikes. And they're just going to eventually kind of point down to here. And then when you get down here, you want to kind of fill in some of these empty spaces with a few more. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and then it's going to kind of curve up, and then down to here. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve to here for the neck. I'm going to go out, and then kind of curve in for the chest. And then starting up here to make the arm, I'm going to make a line that kind of curves down and comes to here. And then I'm going to make a line that goes out and then it's going to kind of curve down. I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves down and then it's going to come up, have a little claw on the end. And then I'm going to put one more right here that's going to curve up. Draw a line that goes out. And then it's going to curve up to here for the arm. I'm just going to connect this area. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes out. Curves kind of back in. I'm going to go down and then kind of down like this. Make a line that kind of curves up and down and comes back. Another one here and then one more small one there. And then I'm just going to kind of bring this straight up here. Then right here I'm just going to add a little curve line. Now we want to start the wing. So the wing is going to start right about here. And I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve and then it's going to come to here. I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down at an angle and it's going to kind of curve into a hook. 
Then I'm gonna make a really long pointy line here and then it's just gonna come all the way back. I'm gonna draw another one that goes out to here and then it's going to come back. I'm gonna put one out to here, not quite as far, and then bring it back. I'm gonna make one kind of small one right here And then I'm gonna bring this line, I'm gonna curve it out to a point, and then it's gonna come back. A little crazy over here. And then I'm gonna draw a line, it's just gonna kinda of curve to here. Then I'm just gonna connect these with some curved lines. and then I'm just gonna bring this line up to here. Then I'm gonna add a little curved line that goes right to here and then just connect this. Now, along the back here, I'm gonna add some more spikes. So I'm gonna start off by just making some small ones and then I'm gonna add some really long, kind of skinny pointy ones that go all the way back. Then right about here, I'm gonna make a line that goes down at an angle, a line that kind of curves up and comes back, and then I'm gonna put one more there for the other foot. Then I'm just gonna bring this line out and then connect it up to here. I'm gonna put like that little hook on the end. Now I wanna add a tail. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna draw a line that's just gonna kind of curve around here. I'm gonna keep it really skinny at the end and then I'm gonna make it wider as it comes back to here. And then at the end here, there's gonna be lots of spikes. So I'm just gonna kinda of put some different little size spikes on the end. Now, I wanna draw the other wing back here. It's gonna be a little bit higher than this one. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna add some little spikes right there. I'm gonna put another one here, keep them really skinny. This one's gonna be nice and long. One more here. And then I'm gonna put one more skinny one right there. And then I'm just gonna kinda of do the same thing, connect them with some little curves. Now we have our basic drawing of our ice wing. Now we just wanna add some of the different details. So there's gonna be a couple little lines right along the neck here. And then on the end of all of these pointy spikes, we wanna add a claw. So I'm just gonna put a little curve line at the end of each one, just right at the tip of the wings. It's gonna be one right there, one here, and then also on all the claws that we can see on the feet. Now, the trickiest part is there's gonna be this kind of like pointy pattern that goes all the way down here. So, what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna start back here by the neck and I'm gonna draw a line that goes down and then up and kinda of like a V pattern. And then I'm just gonna continue this going down. So I'm just gonna add this V pattern that goes right down the back of our ice wing. Now, the tricky part is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw another little V pattern like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on these. So you just wanna kinda of start to the side of that V that you just drew, and you wanna make another one. Now this one's gonna be a little bit tricky here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line that just goes down, just like that. Right here I'm just gonna add a little one. And then I'm just going to kind of angle these in a little bit.
And then I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of goes down here. And then I'm going to add kind of like another little V pattern right around here. I'm going to add a couple little lines on here for some pattern and texture. And then I'm going to add some more going down the arms. Do the same thing on this one. This one's going to have another kind of one of those diagonal little line patterns like we did up here on the wing. And then this foot's going to have that kind of V pattern going on there too. And add a couple little lines on the stomach. A couple little lines right here. And then this one's just going to have a little V pattern going down here as well, just down the length of the tail. So you just can you can even just kind of add some diagonal lines. And then I'm going to add just kind of like another little V next to each one. Just kind of give it a little bit more of a pattern. There's going to be a couple of little lines on the face, so I'm going to draw a little line that just connects to here. A couple of little diagonal lines here. And then a couple of little V shapes here. And then a few more on here. And I'm going to add a couple of little curved lines on the chest. And then I'm going to put a few little V patterns right there.